Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I have my August TBR video. August is usually a more depressed reading month um, for me because of school starting back and marching band season kicking off and the prep for Dragon Con because that happens at the end of the month. So uh, it's usually a, a lesser read month, but I'm actually going for it and reading a few tomes this month. I think I'll do fine. I have 10 novels and one volume of manga I'm going to be reading in the month of um, uh, August, and three of those books are new release books. And and so I'm very excited about all of those. So why don't I talk about first the new releases? The first new release I want to talk about is a nonfiction book. I don't talk about nonfiction on the channel too much just because that's more like personal stuff for me and I don't I don't want to get into anything controversial. But um, uh, there is a nonfiction book titled What's Next? A Backstage Pass to the West Wing, Its Cast and Crew and Its Enduring Legacy of Service, which is... Uh, coming out in August. It is by Melissa Fitzgerald and uh, another author who I'm blanking on who's the other author. But that is a, um, uh, uh, a kind of a nonfiction book with a behind the scenes look at The West Wing, which is my favorite TV show of all time. I love The West Wing. It's what kind of got me into politics. And uh, so uh, that book comes out in August and it's like, this is, there's been a couple of like unofficial books, but this is an official book because, you know, it has the backing of the cast and crew. Some of the cast were writers on the, uh, the book and, and gave advice and stuff. So I'm very excited to get into that. And uh, so that'll be a rare nonfiction review I plan to do for the channel. And then I have two other books. One is a manga, one is a novel. And I have a middle grade novel by Zoraida Cordova titled Beware the Nameless that comes out in August. And that is a, um, uh, a middle grade novel for the higher public, which is finishing up its run. We've got uh, a couple more months. Uh, about, it'll, it'll end uh, in next year in May or June. And um, uh, Beware the Nameless is a middle grade book by Zoraida. So she's done adult, she's done young adult, now she's doing middle grade. So this will be a really quick read. I'll probably get it done in like a day. Um, uh, but the middle grade I find is usually a lot of fun, uh, despite how short it is. Speaking of short, we're also getting a manga volume titled The Edge of Balance Volume 3, which is coming out in August. Um, and uh, that is by Daniel Jose Older. And that um, uh, manga is, is going to be an incredibly fast read. The other manga volumes for The Edge of Balance, I've read in like an hour. And so that one, it will take me absolutely no time to read. So I include, I'm including it because it is a, a book that I'm reading, but it's going to take me no time to read it. Let's get into the, the non-new releases that I actually have physical copies of. I'm excited to get to all these. I have Fable Haven 2, The Rise of the Evening Star by Brandon Mull. I read the first Fable Haven in July. I loved it. My review will be up soon, and I am so stoked to keep going with the series. And I'm super excited to find out what The Rise of the Evening Star is, because I found out what the Evening Star is in the first book, and it got me excited, so I want to see what happens in the second book. Uh, so that's one book I'm reading. I also plan to read Star Wars Tales from the Most Isley Cantina. This is a short story collection for Star Wars. I'm working through the EU. I'm getting close to the end. And this is one of the short story collections. I will be doing this as my YouTube shorts for the next two months. Uh, it is like, I think, 14-ish uh, short stories. Uh, and so it should be, uh, or maybe it's 16. Anyway, it's only a few. It's not as many as like the, um, uh, the, the 40 short stories that were the, uh, from a certain point of view books, but I'll be doing this on the channel very, uh, soon. And it has a lot of classic Star Wars authors from the, the old Bantam era, uh, are here. So I'm excited to read that. I also am reading Dead House Gates, which is the second uh, Malazan or Malazan, however you pronounce it, uh, book or the Fallen book. Uh, I'm actually reading this because my friend Caleb from Caleb Likes Books is doing a buddy read with me uh, in August for this book. We're going to both read it. I think we're going to do the review on my channel, and then we're talking about something else on his channel. Uh, well, however it works, we'll communicate it to you guys. But uh, I only thought the first book was okay. I didn't love it, but um, I thought it was okay, and I didn't really understand any of it. And so uh, the, the joke that Caleb and I make is we're super excited to read this book so that we can not understand it together. 
<laughs> um, hopefully it'll be entertaining. And this is the longest book I'm reading this month. This is the book that page count wise, like put me over the edge of what I normally would feel comfortable doing. But because C Caleb's doing this, I'm going to do it too, darn it. So uh, we're, I'm going to put this on the TBR as well. And hopefully I enjoy it. Uh, and if I do, maybe I'll pick up more Malazan books. I've been holding off because I read the first book back in like uh, t summer 2021. So that was three years ago. And I just never felt I had bought the second book around that time, but I'd never felt compelled to keep going. But maybe I will after I read this. We'll see. All right. Next on my list, I have a science fiction novel that I'm excited to read. It is Ben Boba's Leviathans of Jupiter. This is one of his Grand Tour universe books. I've been reading a lot of his books and loving them, and I really enjoyed Jupiter. And if you've read Jupiter, you know what Leviathans of Jupiter is. And I'm really excited to find out what he does with the Leviathans in this book. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. And Ben Bova, he's just, his worst book that I've read was still an excellent book. So I'm really excited to read more from him. Next, uh, I have another Monster Hunter book from Larry Correa. It is Monster Hunter Vendetta, the second book in the series. I read the first book back in January, and I really enjoyed it, and I intended to read more, but I had other things come up on my reading schedule and haven't been able to continue on with the series. But I am going to read the next book, darn it, because I really want to find out what happens in the series because I really enjoyed the first book. So, uh, And I think there's like seven or eight books out now in the series. So I have the first four, so I'll uh, continue reading those this year, and I'm really excited to read this this in the month of August. I also plan to read J.K. Rowling's The Casual Vacancy. This is going to be like my contemporary non-genre book. I normally have like either like a John Grisham book, a legal thriller, or an Agatha Christie murder mystery or something like that. Uh, one book of those to try to, you know, break my TBR, make it interesting. And uh, I've had this on my shelves for a while, really want to read it. Of course, I love the Harry Potter books and I want to get into the Robert Galbraith books eventually, which I have, which J.K. Rowling also wrote. But I'm also... Uh, been interested. This is a standalone, so it's just to, I'll read it and then be done with it. So I'm interested to see how this goes. I, I think I'll enjoy it. It's a political book, which of course, you know, I love political, political books. And the last, no, no, not the last. I have two more books. Uh, I also have Halo the Flood, the second Halo uh, novel. Again, I read the first Halo novel in January. I loved it and I am super excited to read book two. And I just, you know, Hadn't gone around to it because I had other stuff pop up, but I said in August, I'm going to make it a priority to, to read. So I'm going to read Halo the Flood, which for by most people is considered one of the worst Halo books, but um, I've never played the games. So I think this, it'll be a fresh new story to me. So I'm excited to read it. I really loved the first one, The Fall of Reach. All right. Now the final book I plan to read in August I uh, try to read one book that's either self-published, indie published, or a book sent to me by an author uh, or, a, you know, and uh, a, a, an author's agent. I believe it was the author's agent that sent me the book. It may, I don't think it was in the editor. Maybe it was the editor. Anyway, the book was sent to me um, uh, and I've been, you know, interested in reading it eventually, but uh, didn't know when to s slot it into my reading schedule, but now I do. And that is The Judas Blossom by uh, Stephen Arian. Uh, uh, I think, I think that's how you pronounce the name. Uh, this is book one of the Nightingale and the Falcon series. And I know that, uh, the, the, uh, another booktuber, the nerdy narrative, I know she did, um, uh, uh, a review of this book, and I think she really enjoyed it. And she, I think she just read the second book that just came out. So I'm interested to see this. I've actually, I had seen this in bookstores before and online circulating through people talking about it, but I had never, you know, looked at it much. So I'm really excited to get into it now. And this will be the one for filling that uh, niche for me. And if I enjoy it, maybe I'll get the other books. So that is my August 2024 uh, TBR. It's big and it's aggressive for me. It's 10 novels and a manga. That manga, it's going to take me no time at all. But uh, it's aggressive because I normally pare down in August. But I am trying to keep it going in August because I love reading and I love talking about books and I love having stuff for the channel. So uh, if you've read any of the books that I've that I'm going to be reading. Let me know your thoughts on them. What do you plan to read in August? And are you interested in any of the new releases that I talked about? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. And until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.